Oh, hi there. Do you love me? Are we, are we still in love? Because I love you. I've just been a full-time mom and if you're a full-time mom, you understand <laughs> there is no time to do a lot of things, um, like 20 minutes to yourself to video blog. So I'm back. I'm so sorry. I've been gone for so long. Uh, lots of exciting things happening in the meantime, finishing my album, creating more content, mom content. I'm so excited to share with you. Um, these personal blogs are really, really important to me because it's just at home, late, Cameron's sleeping finally, and I can talk to you guys one-on-one. -on -one. Um, today's vlog is about I mean, what I really should be doing is a vlog about how to make time. So how do you make time to do a vlog about making time? That's the question. Yeah, let me know if you do. Otherwise, today's vlog is about baby getting sick. It is cold and flu season. We as adults get sick. Babies are going to get sick. It is not a fun thing. I've heard all the rumors. I've always heard the stories and I've always heard the, oh, when they get sick, it's so, it's so, it's so heartbreaking. I mean, the poor little snot buggers cannot breathe. It was so sad to see him like that, but we made it, we survived. And today's vlog is about the survival tactics every mother needs for getting through baby's first cold or cold in general. So first thing I noticed, he was warm. So the first thing I did was take his temperature. But when it's cold and flu season, you want to make sure that it's not just teething. You want to make sure that it's not just baby's hot. Let's lose a layer. Um, so the first thing I did was grab my thermometer. Now I use this thermometer. It's a one touch brawn ear thermometer. Um, I'm going to show you how fast it works. And it was super helpful in getting his temperature right away. So it's one touch, put it in the ear, press the button. 98.1. Mommy's healthy. That day, Cameron's temperature was 100.3. So the first thing I did was call the doctor. I called the pediatrician. Um, obviously anything over 101 is cause for concern because a high fever usually means an infection of some kind. So first thing I did was call the doctor. He wanted me to make sure that I monitored his fever, that it never broke 101. Thankfully it did not. Um, so from there, we started to take all the necessary steps to kind of just help him get back to health. So the first thing that's going to happen when your baby gets sick is there's going to be a lot of snot. There's going to be a lot of mucus. There's going to be a lot of cold fluid going on and you have to get it out of baby's nose. Um, it's not a fun process for most babies. If Cameron is your child, he's going to scream bloody murder every time you try to get those boogers out. And he did. I mean, Jared and I were like tag team in force. One's holding us down. The other one is getting the snot out. And moms have lots of different ways of getting the snot out. Shout out to all the moms who didn't have a baby in 2016, who were gangster enough to use their mouth to suck the snot out of baby's nose. I don't know if I'm that gangster. I feel like I might be somewhere in the middle of nowhere with no apparatus and no help and a stuffy baby. But otherwise, uh, I found some awesome contraptions for all you moms who are not about that gangster sucking the snot out of the nose with your mouth life. Hashtag. So first thing that's going to be really important, getting snot out, uh, which is really helpful, is steaming with baby. So you, it's just as simple as turning on the shower at hot closing the door, getting baby, going back into the bathroom and sitting in the steam. They generally like it. Cameron loves it. Um, it's nice and warm. It's soothing. And it's going to help to just loosen up all the mucus that's in their poor little nasal cavities. Um, also something that really helps with loosening up mucus is nasal drops, saline drops. Um, saline drops, I mean, you can make your own solution of salt, water at home. Uh, you can just Google what the parts are, but you can also just get these. They're over the counter at CVS, um, at any drugstore, and you want to just put a few drops in baby's nose. It will loosen up the mucus and then it's time to suck. If you're not about that using your mouth on the nose, gangster life, I'm sure I messed that up again. Um, you want to get one of two things. My first recommendation is this awesome invention. It is called the Nose Frida, uh, F-R-I-D-A, the Nose Frida. And you want this. I mean, if you read any sort of blog online, this is like the number one thing that every mom loves because you don't have to worry about getting snot in your mouth because that's really what some moms do. Again, kudos to you gangster moms. This is, it's really, really simple. Uh, you use this tube, put it under baby's nose just by the nostrils, not in necessarily, but just on the outside and you just suck. It's a straw. It's got a filter on the inside, like a sponge filter. So 
the um, fluid doesn't get to you. And I mean, it just gets it out really, really easily, especially once you've steamed and use the saline. I mean, it'll just come running out and this is the best thing. You just rinse this with soapy water, let it dry. You wanna change the filter because it's gonna get contaminated. But um, it's just that simple. Something else that a lot of moms use is a bulb syringe. You get this when you have the baby at the hospital, they give it to you. Um, you can buy this anywhere. Some moms think it's effective. Me personally, it doesn't really work for Cameron. Um, I'll use it in dire straits if the nose free is not around. Good old bulb syringe, it can work, it cannot work. I think it's just a choice thing. I personally prefer the nose free Next thing I did was I created a spa-like environment in Cameron's nursery. I got a humidifier and I used essential oils. You can use eucalyptus or peppermint. Um, these are the This is the brand that I've been using. And they also have a lavender one, which is done. So you wanna kinda just mix a solution of eucalyptus and lavender in the humidifier in your baby's room. Uh, let it get nice and steamy and these essential oils are just amazing for relaxing baby and kind of keeping those nasal passages really open. Something also you might want to do is um, put a little, put a few drops on some kind of gauze tissue. I actually use breastfeeding pads that I didn't use um, because they have stickies on the back and I just put drops and stuck it to the outside of his crib where he couldn't get to it just so the aroma is even closer to him. Um, it just kind of really helps keep them able to breathe. Uh, another tip is elevate your baby's head in their crib. You want to put a sheet, an extra sheet or a pillow under their blanket so they kind of sleep on an incline so that mucus and that fluid is not draining into, you know, staying into their head and, and can cause a sinus infection. Um, keeping the baby elevated is really, really important. Some parents even let their babies sleep in their car seats because it allows them to sleep upright. Uh, if you're like Cameron, you slept on our chest in the rocking chair all night long but that's just me. Um, another thing that I did, which is really, really important, and obviously if you're into holistic medicine, they will tell you that reflexology is really, really important. Um, some people use baby Vicks on their babies. I personally prefer not to. Uh, I kind of created a concoction of the eucalyptus oil and coconut oil. This is just organic coconut oil that's safe for babies, safe for mom, safe for, I mean, it's just awesome. You can use it on your skin. And I just made a really diluted mixture of these two. And I rubbed the bottom of his feet with the eucalyptus oil and the coconut oil mixture and put them in socks and went to sleep. Um, you know, Eastern medicine has proven that you can detoxify from your feet. I am a firsthand believer of this, but definitely keeping feet covered, put your baby in socks, their head and their feet are the most important things to keep covered when a baby is not feeling well. And then last but not least, fluids. It's so hard when baby's sick because they can't breathe, so they may not be wanting to eat. They may have lost their appetite, they can't breathe. Um, they're, you know, they don't want to take a bottle. You have to try to keep them hydrated. Um, it's gonna help just flush that virus and that cold out of their bodies faster. So, um, you know, extra feedings, extra water, uh, I found that really, really helped Cameron, and you know, it took us, it took us a while, and we had to fly with him. That's a whole other, that's a whole other vlog. It's a scary thing when your baby gets sick for the first time. So, we made it. Okay, and for some reason, technology wanted to fail me, and my camera just shut off. So, uh, hopefully, when I edit this, it will make sense. These are just some tips that I discovered, was recommended by my doctor, obviously the internet, um, that really helped us get through our first cold. It is not easy, it's heartbreaking, um, but getting sick is a part of life for babies. It's actually really important because it helps boost their immune system. Um, it's cold and flu season, everybody is sick. If you're traveling with baby, that's also another reason why uh, babies might get sick. Lots of germs on planes and, I mean, it's just bound to happen. It's gonna happen sometime, but all you can do is do your best stay strong, try these things. They really helped me and Cameron and um, I hope they work out for you. So uh, yeah, that's it. If you guys have any questions or anything that I didn't cover, if you have any questions, you can ask in the comment section. I'll do my best to respond. And also tell me what you guys want me to vlog about. I mean, at this point, I, I, I know a lot just through experience and I'm sure you guys all know the same things but it's fun to share everybody's experience. It's fun to share my experience with you guys. Um, I hope these are really, really helpful and I hope you get through cold and flu season as easily and peacefully as possible. Until the next vlog, 
surrender to your journey, live in your truth, and I will see you guys soon. Peace.